please welcome our first competitor from Leeds. It's Helen, the Hellraiser Skelter! <laughs> Thanks. And now, please welcome her opponent from Dumfries. It's Camilla Thunderbolt This bout is for the Sport Relief Championship at Flyweight. The referee for this contest is Captain Chris Roberts. There will be three rounds of two minutes each. So, in the red corner, representing Berman Toffs Amateur Boxing Club, she's Kayak the Amazon. She cycled to the South Pole. Tonight, it's her biggest challenge yet. Wearing white with the red fade, it's Helen, the Hellraiser Skelter! <laughs> and in the blue corner, representing Nemesis Amateur Boxing Club, she was the runner-up on Love Island 2017. Will she go one better and take the title tonight? Wearing black and gold, it's Camilla, Thunderbolt Fellow! Keep your heads up, okay? No holding, no low blows. Defend yourself at all times, listening to my words of command. Touch gloves, good luck. Move back to the corner. Thank you. This is Sport Relief 2018, oh. round one. Well, we heard from MC Mark Chapman about the colourful life and career of Helen Skelton, but she says, and we saw the training footage that she didn't realise how mentally challenging it would be. But Camilla Thurlow certainly looked up for the challenge on the walk to the ring. But it's Skelton who's on the front foot in the early stages of the contest, Nicola. Yeah, she is. Um, she's looking very, very composed. It's uh, Helen she's going in with some yeah, combos there. Um, a jab and a technique's qu quite accurate. Uh, Camilla's struggling to, to keep Helen at bay. Skelton pressing the pace at the moment, but just once or twice leaving herself open. All of these contests regulated by England Boxing, the governing body for the sport in this country. Stop, as stop, Skelton stop, drives stop. forward once again, and the referee okay. just okay. intervenes back, as Camilla Furlow just falls oh. slightly off balance there. All of these boxers registered with England Boxing. All of them have undergone strict stop. medicals stop. and are reckoned to be oh, of very oh, similar okay. ability, oh, but Skelton oh, really oh, pouring on the pressure, oh. Nicola. Yeah, Helen is really pouring on the pressure. Um, she's, she's throwing punches in bunches. The, the, the jab and the right hand can't miss Camilla at the moment. Um, Camilla's struggling a little bit. She needs, to, she needs to compose herself a little bit better, get behind her jab. Keep them punches up, keep the punches Skelton up. Skelton varying the attack from body to head, but now just concentrating on the head, flicking out the left jab, trying to make the openings for the right hand, which landed there. Another right hand. And Furlow at this stage is just struggling to stem that flow of aggression. And once again, 
the right hand from Skelton, although she takes a very similar punch herself in the closing seconds of this opening round. An exchange of right hands close to the end of the opening round, and the bell sounds with the two boxes. Punching away in the blue corner, Furlow's blue corner, over on the far side of the ring as we look on. Your thoughts on that first round, Nicola Adams? Yeah, it was a cracking, cracking opening round that from um, from Helen there. Um, Camilla was was struggling to hang on. Um, she just needs to get behind her, get behind her, her guard, keep her hands up, and try to stay a little bit more composed coming out into the second round. And we saw from those replays that Skelton was holding her form and her nerves slightly better. We're seeing her both wearing head guards, Nicola. Women in amateur boxing wear head guards, but men don't. Yeah, this is because uh, women's boxing is relatively new and there isn't there enough available research to demonstrate the removal of the head guards for safety. Seconds away. Good start by Skelton, but what can Furlow do here now to claw back the deficit? Round two. Skelton, the winner of that oh. opening round on sheer aggression, if nothing else, and she goes straight onto the front foot once again. Another one of those right hands, but this time Thurlow tries to land with a similar punch. Round inside the target is Thurlow most of the time on the back foot, needs to just step into those punches at this stage. Skelton trying to hold the centre of the ring, the most dominant position quite often in boxing, amateur and professional. Camilla seems a lot more composed this round. I think she's um, she's calmed down a little bit. A little bit of the nerves have gone. She's starting to control her punches a little bit better. And she catches Helen, and Helen catches her right back with the right hand. Skelton going head hunting, but then just bending her knees and throwing a shot to the body, trying to vary the trajectory of the kick. Furlow guessing, and Furlow again, a bit leaky in defence, taking one, punches as they go through two, there, and the referee decides three, to administer a standing count to Camilla Furlow, four, who's taken, five, in his mind, six, too much punishment seven, at this stage. Eight, it will be a standing okay. eight count to give her a necessary Box. reprieve, Nicola. Yes, um, it's, very, it's very important to do that. It's good that the referee stepped in there. She's taken um, a, lot, a lot of heavy shots from, from Helen there. Camilla just needs to remember to, to keep her guard up and remember what she's what she's been learning in the gym. Try to work behind the jab. Straight left again from Helen Skelton. Good straight punches, although Furlow does land a good pound of punch in her own. Skelton really applying the pressure here. Another solid overhand right. 20 seconds to go in this deep. Second Stop. round. One. And again, another Two. standing count oh, for Furlow. Oh, Three. Four. Five. Oh, no. No. Six. No. No. Seven. Eight. Yeah. Oh. Last few seconds of the second round, the difficult second round for Furlow. As they Stop. punch away in the centre of the ring, and Furlow gainly coming back to Nicola right at the end of the round. Yes, yeah, she was. I really admire Camilla's determination there. She, she was taking a, um, quite a few shots in that round, and she's still being very determined that she wants to win and coming, keeps coming back. There's a fully licensed amateur bout with all the safety measures in place, organised by England Boxing with all their officials at ringside. There are three judges at ringside who will adjudicate on this particular contest for that second round, and we're looking at the highlights here now again was dominated by Skelton. Seconds away. Sam Mullins in the corner with Furlow. Round three. So the last two minutes, and in keeping with the action of the first round and the second, Skelton goes straight onto the front foot, but a bit loose in her defence as she walks onto her right hand. What can Furlow do here? Have you seen anything, Nicola, that suggests she can come back into the contest over the course of the last one and a half minutes or so? Yeah, I think she just needs to be a little bit more confident um, with her own defences. I'd like to see her work behind her jab. She just threw a very good right hand there that landed on, on Helen. But again, Skelton trying to hold firm, hold the centre of the ring, and then pressing forward from there, forcing Furlow back onto the ropes. Furlow bounces off the ropes, lands a slugging 
Stop. right hand to the body. Stop. It's not surprising in the closing again. stages here as Pachin sets in that some of the technique begins to falter. They've been training for just about three months, and this is proof that boxing can be taken up in a safe environment by novices as Skelton drives forward once again. We're inside the final minute of the contest, still pressing forward. Thurlow goes to the body, but then takes a right hand to the head. Stop! Stop. Front knuckle part of the gloves. Helen just being warned then to make sure she punches with the correct part Box. of the gloves. <laughs> Camilla took it very well. Nice jab from Skelton. She's setting up that right hand quite often with the jab as she did there. Left right combination, conventional copybook combination, and it's been working throughout this contest so far for Skelton. She drives forward, but Thurlow again spirited in her comeback as she tries to now stem this relentless blow of aggression. And just a warning again for an infringement from the referee. Closing seconds of the contest. They're both desperately tired here. The third and final round, oh. and the bell sounds. Oh. Nicola, your brother. I definitely think um, Skelton's definitely won this, won this, won this match. Camilla, she did really, really well. Held her own. Tried to, tried to come forward and, and attack as much as she could. But Helen, I think, just overwhelmed her with, with her strength and technique. Thurlo on the far side of the ring as we look on. Again, performance there, constantly under pressure, but never conceded defeat time and again trying to score punches on the counter attack as Skelton came forward but the cleaner punching generally left right straight left straight right from Skelton the winner of celebrity boxing for sport relief at flyweight by unanimous decision the champion in the red corner Helen Skelton Exceedingly proud of Camilla. Come on over here, would you? They've never boxed before. Everyone put on a display like that. Camilla, I'll come to you first. How nice to see these guys still having so much respect for each other. Camilla, I know how much of a fan you are of this sport, how much affection yeah. you have for what it does for you as a person. You've gone three rounds toe to toe with another amazing, amazing yeah. woman. How proud of yourself are you? Oh, I mean, the main thing was that I had so much admiration for Helen coming in to this. Having the chance to step in the ring with her was a huge deal. And yeah, I mean, I love the sport. <laughs> to have this opportunity is great. It's been really so nice. You could be so proud. And Helen, because I know you'd love to say thank you to so many people, but. Just a word on these guys, because you brought so much support with you today and they help you through. What do you want to say to every single one of this lot here? Rich, did you get the washing done before you came out, babe? <laughs> no, I'm joking aside, it's nice for me for once to do something in the north, so, like, it's nice to do something with them. Um, and everybody said to me before this, oh, you're really gone with Camilla. You put me in with another northerner. She's north of the border, so... Um, <laughs> No, it was, it, the whole experience has been an absolute privilege. I can't say it enough times. I think these guys sum up what Sport yeah. Relief is all about. Sport Relief is about supporting people who don't get it normally, and that's what they do week in, week out, year in, year out. So I have so much respect. Like Camilla said, these boxers, they're not fit. That's another level of yeah. fit. That's not running around a football pitch or running around a track. That's something else. <laughs> you guys, are, I mean, come on. Let's hear it for these two. Both of them... You both deserve a belt. Let's see it. Raise it aloft one more time. Camilla and Helen. 